Hi friends, we'll try to learn how to take a table from SQLite database and create a Excel page. And the same way, from the Excel page also, we'll try to create a SQLite table. So, and but this time we'll use the GitHub platform to host our script. And at the same time, you can click off a button. You can take the entire script to your Colab platform. Colab is a Google's cloud platform to test your Python scripts and all. So we'll take it to the Colab and run the script. So you can keep a copy in your Colab platform and you need, just need a Gmail ID or a Google account to maintain your Colab platform. So you can entire script can be tested easily without downloading any script to your system or installing any driver for your system. The entire thing is available on Google Cloud, the Colab platform. So before we move, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let's first learn how we will take the data or the script from the uh, GitHub platform and then run it in Colab. This link is there in the description and here you can see the GitHub link. Just click this link and you will be taken to the GitHub page where this is available and you, if, if you want, you can download it. Use this to download the IPYNB or the Jupyter file, whatever is the entire source code is there. It's a small file. So this you can entirely download or, or otherwise. Here is the button, open in Colab, click it. By this time, you should have logged in into your Google account and this entire Google Colab platform is ready for you. And you can directly execute the each cell to check how this script works. We are in Colab platform. This Google Colab platform will use to connect to SQLite and also execute our queries. Now in this, first let's uh, upload the our uh, database. So this is my db dot uh, my underscore db dot db. For that, I will use the wget wget. This is a Linux command. You can use it. Now I am pasting a URL here. This is the URL. This is where the sample, our sample database, my underscore db dot db is available. Once I run this, this will be available. But where it will be available? Let's just see this. This is the place. Uh, this is where it will be available. Now it is not there. Now let me run this. Yeah, it is now available. Let me refresh this. You can see here it is. So my uh, underscore db dot db or my escalate database is available now. You can use this URL and uh, connect it there and download the sample database. Now let me connect it for then. So I will say import SQLite 3. So this is the library I am using. So I am importing it. Now let me connect this one. I am creating a connection object, my connection. Now that is equal to SQLite 3 dot connect now where it will connect my underscore db dot db this is the database where here it is so this database i am connecting now let me run this if there is no error that means i am connected fine now it is database connection is established now let's run one more what you will do first thing we'll do is once i am connected what are the tables available there so for that i will write a simple query here select name from sql light master this is where the reference to all the tables are stored where type equal to table i have to put quotes here fine now this is my query now how i will run this query so for that i am just saying my data equal to list Inside the I am constructing a list now. Now my connection, this is the connection what you are declared above. My connection dot execute. Now what it will the variable query I am giving. Sorry, this particular one what I have declared it that will come here that I am using my connection. The connection here I am line number two here you can see that then whatever comes I am just constructing a list. This is the list command without that also you can work it so what happens once this then i have to display let's just so for that i will give a simple print command print my data let's see what is the output here you can see there are three tables category subcategory and the student table i will add a code block here now suppose we want to see how is our uh, some records of our uh, student table. I will just copy this, paste it here. 
select star from student now instead of printing 35 rows of data i'll just take some few so i'll use limit limit starting from first five records zero to five this many uh, records only you print so let's just run this and see this should work yeah you can see here this is the first five records are printed here so this is the student record id name then class mark and gender you, you can see the five columns data have come up now let's see now we'll create a excel page using this student table so the excel page first for that purpose let me just close this create one more code block here so we'll use pandas for that so for that import pandas as pd so pandas gives a it's a one line one or two line we can create the excel file it is not that pandas is the only library or this is the one only way there are other libraries read excel that is uh, pi excel many other libraries are there which can create the excel file so you have to from the data what you are downloading from, from the sqlite whatever data we got it as a list or then we that you can use instead of that panda is a bit simple and easy to understand also so you are using pandas and pandas is a big library also for data analysis purpose it is used now we'll write the query again query equal to now how many records we want that you can use it or you let's take the all the records select star from student so we are collecting all around 35 records are there now let's first create a data frame or df data frame equal to pd dot read excel sorry read read sql so it will execute a query sql so first let's give the query this is the query then we have to tell the my connection then we'll say use the because uh, all data frame will have an index column now this index column if you are not specifying it will create its own index column so one more column to the left will be there so instead of that we'll say that because our student table has one unique id column use that as your index so we'll say column equal to id so index column we have specified that while creating the data frame you use that now we'll say let's check this print df so the data frame will be printed now let's run this you can see here this is the id column and this is our data frame is printed around 35 records are there suppose if you don't give this one if you remove this i'm just removing this now let me run this you can see here one more index column is added which we don't want so i will keep the use the index column so in my data frame now this is exactly it contains the exactly the same structure of my student table what is there inside the sqlite database from this data frame we'll create our excel file so for that let me just close this and next code block let me just refresh this and check any nothing else is there so here you have our database file only and one more directory is there now our excel file whatever we will create this will appear here so now let me use the data frame df now to excel now that's all but i have to give a file name or path i can give but here it is on on my cloud a cola platform so my student dot xlsx so now i have got the path now once i run this it will create the excel file for me fine now let me just refresh this here is this is my excel file student i can just download it also download to my local download it or remove it also create again whatever i want to do i can do it we'll remove the our student table and from this excel file we'll create that table so for that once more we'll execute the query i'm just copying this and pasting it here and changing this query from here so i'll write it uh, because drop table i have to remove the table so i'll say drop table student now I can also try a try exit block so in that way I can give the suitable message that if you want that to be displayed let me know in the comment section I will include that one anyway when you download the uh, the file that you will find a try accept code block also so that way you can use it now let's uh, run this and and 
see what we get. We'll not get any data because this is just the table is dipped. But how you'll know that this table is removed or not? Let's run this. Here you see, we have to check the, now let's run this one once. So you can see the category and subcategory. The student table is not there. Now what you'll do, we'll use this Excel and create the student table. First, we'll create a data frame using this Excel. Now let me just, uh, sorry, use the code block here. So what I'm writing is DF. Uh, now, sorry, now first what I will do is DF equal to, because data frame we have to create first. PD or Pandas library, what you are, read Excel. So this will read the Excel file. So which one it will read? This is the one what we have created now, that one will give it here. So my student.xlsx. So this will read. Now here also, while creating, we'll say don't use your own index. Use there is ID column, use that as an index. So index col equal to ID. So the ID column, it will use it because in this Excel file, one is there. So now once I run it, I'll get the data frame. Now then with that data frame, we can use it. Let's just run this line and see. Fine, I got it. Now if you want to check the data frame, you can use print df. There is a head column. Head means first top five rows it will display instead of giving a big one. So here it is. You can see the only the ID column is used as index. So let's close this. Now next one, one more code block we'll see. Now we'll create our table in the Escalate database. So for that df to SQL, what we are going to do is connection. First we are telling which connection, my connection is to be used. Now use, then what you do, what name you give. The na table name is student. Okay, let's give a different name this time. Student 2 I am giving. Now there is one more thing. If exist, if suppose this is already there, what it should do? Either it can replace it or append it or fail. It raise the error. So let's for that three options are there. If exist, now I am saying append. Because multiple times I can run, the records will be appended. That's all. So... This is the reason for that. Now, once I run this, I should get this student two will be created. Now, let's run this and see. Fine. 35. Here you see 35 means 35 records are added. Now, how I will know whether the student two is created or not? Again, let's go back. Here it is. We'll run this once more. So once you are running this, yeah, you can see here uh, student two is also created. So this is the from the Excel file, my student, we have created the student two. Now let's just uh, check it, select star. Okay, what we will do is we will copy this line just to ensure, okay, well, it is already there. We will just check the records. So here I will change it to student two. Now let me run this and see some records. Yeah, here you can see the ID column is one, the ID column, so all the rows are displayed here. So we are back to our, uh, from the using the Excel, we have created the table. That's all friends. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you can download the entire source code from GitHub and run it in the collab also that we have already discussed. My request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. And if you have any doubt, suggestion, questions, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.